celebrated at my school, but it was something we celebrated in our family. So I'm glad that we're able to share this tradition with all of you here in the Parkview community. We have a great show um, on tap for you today. Hopefully we won't have any technical glitches. We had some this morning, but it just makes for better YouTube videos, right? When mistakes happen. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And again, if you didn't hear the announcement that if you pre-order dinner tickets, you may go and pick them up in the music room down the hallway. Or if you'd like to purchase dinner tickets, you may do so after the show down the hallway. We're also gonna try something different tonight for dinner. We've been thinking and thinking what would be the easiest way to get everybody to have dinner without it being so chaotic. So after the show, the lion dancers are gonna get us all revved up. But then after the show, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn those benches you're sitting on into tables. We're gonna turn them into rows down the cafeteria. If you've been here at lunchtime, kind of the same thing. We're gonna do rows going this way. So if you can help us transform those into rows, that would be great. Then we're gonna ask everybody to sit down with your family at one of the tables. Before we've had everybody lining up right away and it creates these long lines and some chaos. So what we're gonna try, we put our heads together in the Vietnamese parent group. What we're gonna try is we're gonna have everybody sit down and just like at a wedding, we'll dismiss you a table at a time and we'll try to be quick about it, okay? But that way everybody's sitting and then we can be ready to go after the show, okay? And then also performers, after you perform and you come down the stairs, make sure that you pick up a dinner ticket because all of our performers are getting a free dinner tonight for all their hard work. So make sure when you come down the stage, you grab it and hold on to it, don't lose it because that's for you for dinner, okay? So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and introduce our very talented MCs for the evening. We have David. We have Vicky and Tiffany. They're going to come over and MC the show for us. So give them a big round of applause. Hello, Parky Panthers. Happy New Year, the horse. My name is David Lardy. And my name is Vicky Pham. How are you? I feel excited because it's my first time being an MC. What about you? It's a great pleasure for me to help celebrate the Lunar New Year. Are you a horse? No, I'm not. Those who were born in the year 2002, 1990, 1978, etc. are the horse Hey, don't forget that those born this year, 2014, are the horse people too. That's right. Do you know any characteristics of horse people? Well, they are popular and cheerful. They work really hard, too. Very interesting. All right, can we get started now? Let's do it. Kim Tuluk Rifu Huyen helped in Jing Park View. Gunten Tiffany Da Eng Hop Lok Nam Sea Fu Jack Van Deo Hien Jung Jing Van Ge Mung Xuan Yap Ngo Lang Ting Bia one of the highlights this year is the performance of the students in Mr. Pham's class. They put together a skit to tell you the story of a Chinese zodiac. Ma Dao Jun Xing, Thai Pham, Da Tap Cho, Kak Em Hop Sin, Biu Ying, Mo Tip Mok, Ve Su Tip Gu, Mui Hai Con Yap. Rất cảm ơn. Each New Year is named after an animal on the ch 
Chinese zodiac calendar. A person born within the animal's year will have the traits of that animal. Before the new year, they clean their house to sweep out the bad luck from the old year. They want to sweep out the old and welcome in the new. They have scissors and knives so they will not cut their luck. They decorate the house with pairs of scrolls which are large long banners of gold and red paper with